Hey, it's Mr. Marcos, and we're going to classify quadrilaterals. First of all, you may notice the word or the prefix quad, which means four, like quadruplets, and then lateral, like in American football, if you do a lateral pass off to the side, or it can be like lines or sides. So we basically have four-sided figure. We're going to be talking about a four-sided polygon. So first of all, quadrilaterals can be parallelograms. And a parallelogram is when you have both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So this side is parallel to that side, and then this side is parallel to that side. And then there's different kinds of parallelograms. There's the rectangle, which is a parallelogram, but it has four 90-degree angles, or right angles. And then there's a special kind of a rectangle, which is still got the 90 degree angles in there but all four sides of the square are congruent whereas in the rectangle this side is congruent to that and that side is congruent to that side there's another kind of parallelogram which is the rhombus the rhombus is a parallelogram that has four congruent sides but their angles are not 90 degrees and a special kind of rhombus is also a square. So a square is a parallelogram, a rhombus, and a rectangle. It's also quadrilateral. Over here, we have trapezoids. Trapezoids are when you have exactly and only one pair of opposite sides which are parallel. So that side is parallel with that side, but these sides are not parallel. So there you go. Parallelogram, rectangle, square, rhombus, and trapezoid. Thank you.